Good evening and welcome back once again. First of all, I want to start with an apology. I did record the last video and you can see on the bottom left there that we had a 3-1 win away to Levante. Not sure how I did it exactly, but I made a mess up of the recording and it didn't save. So unfortunately, that's not available. Nothing too much to call out. It was a fairly straightforward win. Yes, we did let in a goal, but it was pretty comfortable. Nothing spectacular either, but it just means that we're pushing on, get that top spot secured in our first season in Division 2. And today at home to Albacete, we're going in with a full strength lineup. The only difference really, I suppose, is that we've dropped Teixeira because he's on a downward red and brought in Coalfield. But other than that, our usual lineup. So let's jump in. And here we are, back at home at La Rosaleda. Beautiful looking stadium, like I always say. We're actually playing in our third choice kit just because of kit clashes with the other team. But it's nice to uh, try that out. Don't play with it very much. Yeah, and again, just apologies for the last video being unavailable. So I think what happened was is um, I hadn't played in a while and I was planning to do a few recordings and I think it was my third one. It was late at night. Um, played the game. Uh, hadn't done the outro yet and I thought, oh, so I'll make sure I save the game, uh, which I always edit out in the video. And as soon as I saved the game, I just thought, all right, I'm tired, that's it, I'm done. I'm, I need to go to bed. I think I had work the next day. Um, turned off the PlayStation. No, sorry, I exited the game and then got to the home screen of the PlayStation thought, oh, I didn't do the outro. So I went, oh, wait, I'm going to have to go back in. Um, two seconds while we get this attack. But yeah, I thought I'll go back and record the outro. Went to do that and I thought, oh, hang on. Did I even save the video? Went to check and I hadn't and it wasn't even recording anymore. So I think what must happen, because I had definitely restarted the recording, is I think if you close down the game completely and you made recording, it just shuts off. Um, so it was my fault. Um, anyway, here's Vieira. Oh, just lost it. And again, I've had a gap of playing this game. I've been playing a bit of be bits and pieces of other games, but not really recording. Um, I did do a live stream. So my... I wouldn't say my first ever live stream, because I have done the odd one in the past. But of my new sort of... Uh, Since I've started up YouTube again properly, which was about, I want to say, October last year, maybe a little bit earlier, 2022 that was, um, I haven't haven't done a live stream. So I live stream on, on Twitch, and I also uploaded the VOD on here um, towards the end of February. And um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Had some interaction. It's brilliant. Played everybody's golf, which is a sort of a, an arcadey golf game. Really fun game. Not serious. Here's Mudrick. Oh, good effort. But again, I've had a gap between playing, actually, you know, playing properly and recording. Just been playing bits and pieces. So I might be a bit rusty at this game. And I need to concentrate. But I just thought I'd get that out of the way in terms of where the last video is. Hopefully it won't happen again, but I suppose these things are going to happen at some point. Ah, actually, just one thing to add, I suppose, was I did even think about re-recording, but that would have meant replaying the game. And I suppose, not exactly a mistake, but something I don't normally do is re use the same save every single time. So I've got multiple saves. And I normally I'll alternate, so I'll, I'll start on game save one, and then after this, after I've played the next game, I'll game save two, etc. Just in case something goes wrong. And this time I had actually just saved over the previous couple of games. Um, so I, all three recordings in that night were on the same save. So, yeah. <laughs> Carlos Perez. Oh. Sexy. Mudrig, ah, 
So in short, if I had went to re-record it, I would have had to re-record all three episodes to get everything back to normal. But there we go. I wasn't going to do that. Um, oh, Xerxes and Ellie in there. Fabio Vieira. Oh, again, saved. Just need to concentrate because I've been talking quite a lot. And if you did see my live stream on Everybody's Golf, you'll realise that my game is certainly affected when I'm um, talking and trying to concentrate on what I'm saying. Oh, just a little bit wide for Perez. Had to stop the shot. Now Arcas, who again is on an upward trajectory. That's why he's playing, because he's uh, improving dramatically at the moment. So Herrera's playing a little bit deeper and he's playing in that uh, attack midfielder role alongside Vieira. Mudrig, what a save. But it feels good to get back into recording. I've been wanting to do it, but I, I know I need to be in the right frame of mind and to be ready to do it. Just had a lot of work and other things and I just needed a bit of a break, to be honest. Really interested in doing the live stream a little bit more consistently. Sexy. Well, as of today, I've already done it once, so I say more consistently, I just mean more. Um, it just means that, because I really do like the editing, I like the daily videos, I'll still be doing that on YouTube, especially pairs, and obviously I've been doing Resident Evil 4 recently, the, the old version. The remake's coming out soon as of this recording. Today is actually the 24th of February, so this video will be not coming out until um, probably the first or second week of March. Probably about the 5th or... No, maybe the 6th or 7th of March, something like that. Um, ooh, what a save! He hasn't been involved at all so far, but what a magnificent save there. Brought him out. Oh, star man between the sticks. Oh, look at that. Lovely save from Schubert. He's a fantastic keeper. I don't know if you if, if you watched this from the start, but remember the first couple of episodes, I went to buy a goalkeeper, and the one I wanted, and I can't remember who it was now, actually, um, I couldn't get it at the time because he had just signed a new contract, so you couldn't even sign him if you paid all the money in the world. You just It's just not an option. So I thought, I'll, I'll sign this guy Schubert. He looked pretty good for like a stopgap until maybe we get into the first division. Rodrig. Oh, should have crossed that, I think. Carlos Perez. Nice ball to Mudrig. Probably a foul. Xerxes. Xerxes. Would I have taken the foul? I don't know. Probably not, actually. Perez, oh, good save again. That's a corner. But now I don't think Schubert is a stopgap at all. I think he's, uh, he's outstanding. Sorry, this might be speaking too loudly into the mic. Um, I think he's going to be our number one goalkeeper for many years. We may buy another keeper eventually as a good second choice. Well, we have got a youngster in there at the moment. There it is, half time dominating but uh, we're still getting back up to speed again straight into the second half I did skip the stats but it was 74% uh, possession to ourselves not surprising Massive, uh, massively dominating that first half apart from that one chance that they had Schubert made that brilliant save can Xerxes getting it no he's not quite quick enough An interception there. I saw that pass coming, the little one two. Just managed to get him back in time. Pierre has maybe been our best play so far. He's booked out. Sixty. Oh, lovely cross and header. That young right back that we signed from the youth team. He's been pretty solid since he since we signed him and um, 
as a replacement for someone we sold. And he's actually, I don't know how many assists he's had so far, maybe three, maybe that's his third assist. Lovely ball, fantastic header from ZXC. And that's off, off us, sorry, that's us off the mark uh, today. Took us uh, 10 minutes into the second half to do it. Now, just got to be careful that we don't get sloppy or anything like that and let in a goal. And we're pretty comfortable. Oh, I just tried to lay it off to Mudrick and it just didn't go anywhere. Going to play on a few minutes longer before we make those subs. Decent cross, but difficult angle to, to get the header. Oh, nice play by uh, yeah, with that ZXZ. That's a poor ball from ZXZ. I don't think, uh, don't know if Herrera's touched the ball, has he? Not sure. Well, he has now. Nice ball from Herrera, actually. Close down Vieira there. Not bad play from them. Just being safe. Here's Modric. Nice ball. Arcas. Vieira with a bit of space here. Sixy. Perez, Sixy again, what a goal that was. Oh. And I don't know if it's actually flashing up in the recording, but I got a, a trophy for assist machine. I'm not 100% sure what that's for, it must be, I don't know, so many assists with a player. What a lovely finish, but a lovely flow move. Started deep where Mudrick had the ball. Nice one too. Just got his toe end on it. And uh, we're going to make some subs. So we're going to bring on Castledean for Vieira. We're going to take off Mudrick and put Arrington on. And a bit of a switch up top. We're going to switch Carlos Perez to up front. Take Xerxes off and Bajer is going to be out wide on the right. Yeah, it's looking a lot more comfortable now. Herrera nicely broken up there. Lovely ball into Bajay. He's got plenty of space. Out to Carlos Perez. And there it is, 3-0. Lovely. And it all started from Herrera breaking the play up. Playing a simple but very, very effective ball through. Well, I say simple, that was a beautiful pass. And then the changes have worked. Bajer on the right, playing it into Carlos Perez, who's now up top. And he slots it away very calmly. Took his time and just placed it in the bottom left. You know, Carlos Perez looks really, really solid up top. He could be actually a genuinely very good striker. Maybe he hasn't got the strength. Um, but every time we've asked him to play there he's performed very very well he's a good option, we've got players that can play in multiple positions really so oh nice ball now Harrington Harrington, 4-0 and the youngster's on the score sheet now as well he's going to be a really really good player in the future very promising I think of all the youngsters that we've got in terms of that we've brought through the youth squad, it's himself and Bajer that are the most promising. You've got the likes of Castledean, who was originally on the squad. Teixeira, the left back, he looks decent. 
but um, Harrington probably looks like the more exciting alongside Bajer. I mean, Bajer is probably the one that's had the most game time out of of those guys. It actually feels good having a, a relatively small squad because you're pretty much always playing the same sort of 13, 14, 15 players obviously in rotation as well and then you've got a couple others that um, play maybe when the squad needs a rest the youngsters, things like that so it's not like we've got a squad of 25 or anything like that. And it's um, quite enjoyable, but we will want to expand that. Especially the more games we play. But here's Harrington again. Uh, I was actually trying to pass it there. I was caught in between what I, what I wanted to do. Um, do we want Castle Dean to take it? Oh well, we'll let him take it. See what he's like with these corners. Nice corner, actually. Oh, off the line. Castledean. Arcas. Ooh, lovely strike. But you have to be careful there. Nearly foul Bajer. Actually defended well in the end. That'll be our throw. They cannot keep the ball. We're just all over them at the moment. Even when they get it back, we're just hustling them and trying to win the ball back. We've got a chance here. Bringing out Schubert, though. He just hoof it out. <laughs> Not taking any risk of that. Brilliantly headed out by Cosano. One last attack, maybe. Harrington on the ball. Cross Perez with some tired legs. Here's Bajer. Lovely work, Bajer. Oh, what a cute little finish that was. Wow, we are absolutely dominating this game. It took us a while. First half we dominated, we just couldn't find the breakthrough. As soon as it went 1-0, we'll just open them up and they can't do anything about it. Lovely little ball around the corner. But look at that little finish. Dummied and then slid it past the keeper. I love those little toe poke finishes that you can do on this game. And again though, Carlos Perez and Michelle linking up really well. I'm, I'm sort of struggling to see who's going to be man of the match. I think Carlos Perez is probably the obvious one. But, you know, even the subs that have come on have, well, they've performed brilliantly. And there it is, full time. Absolutely fantastic. Great to be back playing the game after a bit of an absence. What a start. Just looking at the stats, 63% possession, which is fairly standard for us. Just absolutely dominating. 15 shots with 13 of them being a target. To be fair, they looked dangerous a couple of times. And Schubert did have to make one outstanding save. And I think it was 1-0 at the time. So that made a massive difference. But other than that, we looked very comfortable. Man of the match, Cirque was 7.5. Carlos Perez also rated the same. Wouldn't really disagree. I would say maybe Carlos Perez edged it towards the end of the second half. But Bajer Harrington, they got sevens as they came on. All around very, very good points. I would say Vieira maybe deserved a little bit better. And Herrera, although he had a very quiet first half, he uh, picked it up in the second. So maybe six is about right for him, actually. But that's it for today, guys. As you can see, we're now 23 points clear in the league of second spot. But an absolutely massive match coming up, as you can see there. The semi-final of the Copa del Rey against Villarreal. Absolutely the biggest match we've ever played. Beat Real Madrid in the quarters to get to this point, and that, that was such a great match to play. We're now playing Villarreal. A really good chance of getting in the final and getting a trophy in our first season. That would be absolutely magnificent and well above probably what we would expect. But join us for that one. Like the video if you did enjoy that. Drop a comment down below and think about subscribing. But I'll see you next time. Cheers.